Hey Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to your 2023 first quarter overview. So what I'm going to do is look at January, February, March. I am going to use multiple decks for each column. The first column will be your personal and spiritual growth with spirit, the universe, God, angels, whatever it is you believe in, the divine wants you to know. The second column will be relationships. The third column will be career and finances. And then I will close it out by pulling three <clears throat> sacred oracle cards for additional messages from spirit and the universe. So I will be using different decks for each column and I will be clarifying with a different deck with one card for each card that I pull. So hopefully you followed that. If not, no big deal. We're going to get started. Spirit, please give me guidance for Pisces. What do they need to know for their highest good spirit? What do they need to know for their highest good for spiritual and personal growth? These two cards came out, so I'm going to take them. What do they need to know for their personal and spiritual growth? Spirit, please, and thank you. What do they need to know? Pisces for January, February, March 2023 for personal and spiritual growth, please and thank you. Okay. And you have Queen of Wands. So I'm going to put this over here. Now we're going to do relationships. Spirit, please give me guidance for Pisces regarding relationships and love, whether it's a partner, a friend, a family member. It could be anyone, okay? It doesn't need to be a love interest, but it certainly can. I know a lot of you, that's what you're looking for. So it could be a child even. So just take it as it resonates because the situation can refer to anything. Okay, well... We have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Your cards are just wanting to spit out. Spirit, please give me guidance for Pisces, January, February, March, 2023. What do they need to know with career and finances, please? What do they need to know? For their highest good in career and finances, please. What does Pisces need to know for their highest good in career and finances, please? And thank you. We have the Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, and the chariot okay so now i'm going to start with your personal and spiritual growth here and i'm going to pull one card to clarify each of these cards okay spirit please give me guidance why is the eight of pentacles here for personal and spiritual growth for pisces one card please why is Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces, please, and thank you. Why? Two more shuffles. Why is Eight of Pentacles here for Pisces, please? One. Okay. Temperance. Spirit, please tell me why the Death card is here for... Pisces for personal and spiritual growth, January, March, 2023. Why is the death card here, Spirit, for Pisces for January, February, March, 2023, please, and thank you. Okay, that's way too many. Oh, I just put those back on. Why is the death card here? Okay, strength. Wow. 
Why is the Queen of Wands here, Spirit, for Pisces? 2023, January, February, March, for personal and spiritual growth. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Pisces? January, February, March, 2023. Okay. These two came out, so I'm going to take it. So... Pisces, let's see what we have here. You have a lot of major arcana already starting off this reading. So I'm getting a strong feeling of you're ready to invest in yourself. It's it's about okay, let me look within and at myself so I can identify more or less and point out the things that I need to heal and take that healing right taking that pain to heal it and turning it into strength strength is here which is backing this up because temperance you know it, it's about the need for some type of balance and assessing what are the things that truly work for you and what doesn't? Where is there too much or where is there too little? It's about moderation, balance, right? Am I giving too much and receiving too little? Because this is going to excel you for your highest good. This is for your greater good here. Some of you do need to slow down and focus, but for the most part, it's like you're wanting to be fulfilled and you want to have some type of meaning here. So with the Death and Strength card, it's like you're ending, something is ending, okay? And it doesn't need to be a relationship, but it can be. You know, some people automatically go towards a relationship. You will know what I'm speaking of because it's a collective reading and it means different things. But, you know, death speaks of an ending. And, but it's also a transformation into the new. It's ending my old way of thinking. It's ending the things that I used to do that did not serve my highest good. Dwelling on things. Worrying about things that I cannot control. That type of energy. It's, you know, and again, with this new moon that happened on December 23rd, it's very, in the United States, and I say United States because I have subscribers and viewers that are in other countries, so time frames may be off, but, you know, it's all about purging, cleansing, surrendering and releasing and this is what you're doing here you're showing me that this is the direction you're going into if you haven't started already <coughs> excuse me because everybody's on different time paths here some may be a little bit of ahead somebody may be you know okay oh I've done that a few weeks ago or a few days ago okay now I'm working on this so just take the time frame as it resonates because it does fluctuate right but it's like, now granted, someone or something could be ending something with you. But I am getting a strong feeling regardless of whether it's you or someone else or a situation. You're going through this transformation. You're looking at yourself and saying, okay, what is it that I need to approve upon, you know, to make things that are really going to make me better, make me stronger. Some of you need to hear you're a lot stronger than you think. You know, you're a lot stronger than you think, for sure. So... With the Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, Ace of Wands. The Queen of Wands is confident, assertive. She does not have any doubt 
of what she wants. I do feel that you need to remember to stay in this type of energy because you'll get in your head and you'll conflict within yourself, if that makes sense. So if you made a decision to end something or cut something out of your life, don't start second guessing it. Do not do that to yourself because it's... You know, the Queen of Wands can attract anything. She knows what she wants. She's confident. She knows she's going to get what she wants. And I'm getting the heavy feeling that that's the energy you need to put yourself into. Because with the Ace of Wands, it's like it is time to be excited. It is time to be passionate. It's time to take that action. Look at, you know, look at things and challenges here and take action. Things are going to start changing and it's going to be for the better. And I'm just hearing new, new, new. Like a new you, a new person, a new attitude. You know, don't get in your head to self-sabotage yourself. You know, uh, questioning yourself. Why did this happen? I don't understand. Just, you know, swords are about truth. Do not second guess yourself. And be honest with yourself. What is going to make me a better me? And that's beautiful. And it's, I'm, I've, I've been through this transformation in the last two years and it is hard. I am not going to lie. It is very hard. But it is so doable. And the way you feel once you come out on that other side is truly priceless. And I wish I would have done it a long time ago. And I just saw 1212 on the recorder. So look up angel number 1212. That's a sign for you. All right, let's go into relationships, Pisces. Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? Please give me guidance. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? The world. Why is the King of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the King of Swords here, Spirit? For Pisces, January, February, March 2023. Why is the King of Swords here? Two more shuffles. One. Two. The Magician. I mean, Spirit is all over this and has your back with all these major arcanas. Spirit. Okay, well, here we go. King of Wands in reverse. Something is, and I'm looking at the bottom, I turn it over, it's the devil. Okay, so there has been some type of trickery here. And I'm just going to say this because I know it's going to sound cliche. But it's like, and I'm sure you're hearing this, for, it's like, I feel like, a lot of us are getting the same energy within relationships. And those that no longer serve us, whether it's toxic, whether it's the behaviors, addictions, it's, you know, how we deal with things, right? And it's all about getting this shit out the way so we can start anew. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night of the deck. Some of you are getting to the point where you are tired of waiting and empty promises that something's going to, you know, something's going to appear and or, oh, uh, you know, whatever it may be, right? Oh, whether it be somebody committing to you, somebody being more serious, somebody taking something to the next level, somebody saying, I'm going to leave my wife, somebody saying, I'm going to leave my girlfriend, there's so many different energies that that can pertain to. What I'm saying is, is somebody has stayed on this horse for too long, like dangling this pentacle, like, and you're like, am I going to get it or am I not going to get it? Am I going to get it? Am I not going to get it? And with the world card, it's the last major arcana. There's 22 major arcanas. 
Zero is the full, which starts the new beginning. This is ending the cycle. Ending, ending all that no longer serves you. And this just doesn't need to, this could be a friend, a parent, a, a family member, a sibling, whatever. So don't just take it as if it's, you know, it, it's regarding love. It doesn't have to be. I do feel that there's obsessions here. There's been fears. There is overindulgence is what I'm hearing. I think there was a lot of trickery. There was a lot of words here that were going back and forth. You know, the magician here to me is about, there was a lot of trickery here. You have a knight and you have a king of swords. I do feel for some of you there was more than one person. And then you have the king of wands in reverse, which is my player energy. The Seven of Swords is confirming that. There was lying, cheating, deceit, hurt, pain. And I feel like as some of you are moving away, you keep looking back at this. Like, do I need to go back? Do I need to go back? Which gave me this energy here. Don't get in your head. Whatever this is, did I make the right decision? Do not lead yourself by guilt, but rather than gut. What do I mean by that? Because you feel bad or this person makes you feel a certain way or you just internally feel bad and guilty for walking away from something, whether they come out and make you feel bad and make you feel less of a person, you don't lead actions by guilt. You lead them by what your gut tells you. And apparently, you wouldn't be going through this transformation if you didn't know intuitively that you were on the right path. I, I just, there was just, it was like... This person can be very cutting, just very short, cold, manipulative. All for oneself is what I'm hearing. I mean, you have one, two, three, four, five. Six major arcana. Well, this is this makes seven over here, but we're not over here yet. But seven major arcanas so far. That's almost half the cards. You know what you need to do. Spirit will bring in something better for you. But you need to heal and you need to focus on you. It's like I feel like there's a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out. But yet no, nothing surrounding commitment or like this could be a friends with benefits and somebody's, you know... It doesn't have to be. I'm just throwing out the different energies I'm getting. But I do get the energy with the King of Wands in reverse. An in and out. Like as soon as this person comes in, they tell you what you want to hear. It makes you feel good. And then it makes you doubt what you felt prior. Some of you may have blocked this person or this person has blocked you. For some of you, there is a lot of resistance here. I'm not sure this person can commit, honestly. But for your personal and spiritual growth, spirit, universe, you have such a full 
heavy spiritual guidance that that they're trying to help you see things to push you in the right direction and give you that nudge to go within and see your worth and that rejection is your protection <sighs> But in time, in healing through all of this, you will get through and, and something will come out better in the end. Which is why you're going to be going through this transformation and needing strength and not to get up in your head. Okay. Look, I can't... <laughs> I just spoke about the fool. I feel like there's a storyline here. Like I'm, it's like everything ties together, right? So, you know, when something, you know, say you have a relationship with somebody and it's going to shit, it affects everything in your life. It affects your work. It affects your productivity. It affects your home life. It affects you internally as an individual. So for a lot of you, I'm feeling like you're working on an entire transformation to learn to love yourself. I don't know why I'm getting the two of cups feeling to like in, in, give yourself the cups of love instead of giving other people. You're less you're not as giving to yourself as you are to others. This is all about you looking within and giving yourself the same love, the same respect that you're giving others. Again, and you have, so career and finances. This seven of swords is a block. Because of whatever negativity is going on or has been going on. It has blocked you. It has blocked you from doing anything, taking risks, seeing things from a new perspective. It's also about not making sure that you're not being naive to go back and, and you know, get too over emotional and be naive to allow this to affect you because I do feel for some of you it is affecting your career and finances. Maybe you're spending money on this individual because remember this is career and finances, okay? Maybe you've given this person money. Maybe they've stolen from you. Whatever it may be. Do not get, I feel like some of you, you need to kind of take a break, meditate, spend time on your own. And some of you, that's taking a big risk because you've never done that before or you haven't done it in quite some time. And it's about you taking a huge risk, not knowing what the future is going to hold, okay? And, and being, loving yourself. And if you continue to go back to this individual, because she's facing him, so I'm concerned because this emotional bond, it's going to continue to affect your finances due to the manipulation is what I'm hearing. Spirit, why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here for Pisces? Why is the Six of Wands here for Pisces and career and finances, please? The Moon. Gosh, the Major Arcana. I don't, like, I think you're, so, this is Pisces energy. I don't feel, and normally I don't throw out signs in my reading, but spirits like, this is heavy.
and confirms that yes this is for you you need to listen like you can't even see perhaps like some of you you're your own worst enemy because It's like a battle within yourself here. There's a dog and a wolf on each side. And it's like balancing those emotions. And some of you just feel like, how can I, how can I get to this place? Like there it's it's the moon is all about mystery, right? But you know. Let me back up for a second because I'm going with what Spirit's telling me. Her body is facing this way. Her head is looking this way. It is time. The Queen of Cups is about nurturing, loving. She's a motherly figure. Could You could be a father, okay? It's just the, it's the divine feminine. It's the energy that I'm getting. Tara doesn't have a gender. But it's about finally moving away from this taking a leap of faith and loving and nurturing yourself self-care here yes you can love others you can you know with healthy boundaries and keeping those that don't serve you at a, at a distance or you block them some of you are too giving to this situ we're too giving to this individual so six so six of wands does speak about a victory does speak of you know wanting to succeed you're going to come a far away and people are going to recognize that Some of you may be deciding to talk about your experience or situation. Say, for example, if this person, you know, was toxic, had addictions, whatever. Some of you are going to find that your voice and you speaking about your experiences and your transformation is going to help others. And you're going to come out in a victory here. The moon, it's like you may not be able to see it because with the moon, you can only see only so far ahead. It's not like having the sun, right? So you can only see so far. The universe is guiding you. It's all about your intuition here. You will come out ahead. You will come out ahead. So with the chariot, I have the six of swords, which means moving to calmer water. This is a movement card. The chariot is a movement card. It's going to be fast. At the bottom of the deck is, a, is the star. I mean, this is so... The divine spirit, God, angels, whatever it is you believe in, you are being protected right now. You will be, you are going to continue to be protected in this new year. This is so, so beautiful. Like, I'm emotional. Now, I'm a cancer. We're water signs, right? We get them. But this is like such a feeling of like a weight lifted off my chest. Because there's been such a heaviness for a long time. Yes, you need to heal. You're walking away. You're moving into calmer waters at a fast pace for healing and success. You're going to start holding on to your money here. Right? You're going to start seeing that you perhaps are just, you're going to become more frugal to main, maintain your finances. You're going to go within to heal. Judgment, you're going to choose yourself. You're going to choose yourself. I mean, one, two, three, four major arcanas right here. 
there's only 22 major arcanas. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You have half of the major arcanas in your spread. Wow. Wow. You are being spiritually awakened with this judgment. It's like you are being freed. You are free. You are deciding to free yourself and watch it all come in. Watch it all come in. It's going to be beautiful. Things are going to start coming together. And understand that this can be a work situation. Where there's been betrayal, sabotage, people have been screwing you over, or somebody's been screwing you over. Somebody's like going behind your back, but you're going to find the strength and you're going to move on from that. Oh, this is so great, Pisces. I love this for you. I love this. Okay, let me pull three oracle cards from the Sacred Traveler. Spirit, please give me guidance. What does Pisces need to know? This one wanted to come out. Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. Spirit, please tell me January, February, March 2023. Please give me cards for Pisces, January, February, March 2023. What do they need to know for their highest good spirit? This one wanted to come out. Grace and gratitude. Yeah, through gratitude, joy expands. Spirit, please give me any more cards for Pisces, please? At least one spirit. January, February, March. What do they need to know? What do they need to know for their highest good spirit? What do they need to know, please? For their highest good. Two more shuffle spirit. Two more shuffles for Pisces. One. Too. protected by angels you are cherished by the angels I said that they told me to look at the bottom mystic healer healing energy flows through you you will heal whatever hurt I'm going to say this and I make sure I want to make sure I say it in a way that's not whoever has screwed you over Karma is, thank you, Spirit. Did y'all hear? Just, I'm, I get I am notifications, and I'm going to read it to you because I think it's important. And apparently this message is for you. So give me a second. I'm trying to pull it up and get this off my phone. I don't speak in Spanish, I don't know. Oh, come on. Give me a second. I'm going to find it because it's like this is a message from Spirit to I am. Why is this in Spanish? <laughs> Today is going to be a great day. Okay. So, there's healing energy that flows through you. Some of you may need to block. I do feel like you're being protected. And anything that somebody's trying to, any kind of negative energy throw your way, it's like return to sender. You're being protected. And those that have done you wrong will be having, they will have their own justice to deal with. You don't need to worry about taking that into your own hands because you don't want to stoop yourself down to that level. Okay? Pisces, this was such a beautiful reading. I really hope this helped you. I really, really do. Make sure 
you know, to keep standing in your power and how important that is to you. Please like, subscribe, and comment if this resonated. I'd greatly appreciate it. By doing so, it helps with the algorithm and YouTube, getting my videos out there to share my messages to others that need to hear it. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.